All I am concerned is how we have to do to play good. So the decisions is is the decisions, and during the season there are moments that help you. For the decisions, I'm not, but I have to do what you have to do to beat eleven against eleven against against Nottingham Forest. Sorry. Clattenburg and Forest. Would you want a referee doing the role that Mark Clattenburg is doing for Forest for you? I don't know. Listen, I go to the game. I never ever know who's the referee. And when I see the face, I say, "Oh, I remember that face." So, never in my life talk about the referees before, during, and after. Never, ever, ever. But the mistake make a mistake. We are sad when it's a favorite. Oh, we are lucky. But I don't waste my time. My time is Mina. So every three game games, I have to economize. I have to choose exactly my time, what they have to do. And I don't spend one second about uh, the referees. And I think, especially, 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 especially when we lose. So I proved that for many years here in this country. So. Okay. Obviously, going to Forest on Sunday, they must be angry. It seems like the, the fans might be galvanized a bit by everything that happened this weekend. <coughs> Is that similar to last year when City got the charges from the Premier League and that seemed to bring the fans and the team closer together? And what kind of impact will that have? I don't know. I'm not there in the locker room from Nottingham Forest. So I don't know what's going to disimpact do it. Uh, I couldn't imagine, but uh, I don't know. In terms of the supporters in the stadium, is that yeah. an extra thing? But I think, I think I, I've been one or twice in that stadium and, and always the, the atmosphere is unbelievable. So. Maybe an extra, I would say, for the fact that they had in in a relegation battle, and that's why how important the result, especially yesterday, Everton won, so it's not good for them. And but what I'm concerned is Hudson Odoi, is uh, <laughs> all the strikers they have, would have to control the weapons that they have. So, and we are used to play with uh, environments, and and yeah, we're going to try what we have to do. So of course they're going to use. His home ground, home people to, to support, that is normal. Joe? Well, we play at home against Madrid. So uh, we go in bed earlier than we were going to arrive today. So the people say, mm, for example, we're playing Crystal Palace 12.30. So we arrive at 5, 6 in the afternoon. To go to Madrid, it was really good because we could the proper dinner and rest and go. And arrive at two three is not a good because the players after they have one or two more hours to sleep and have to wake up to recovery. And the bed and rest is one of the most important things, you know, to recover. And we don't have time. So and after tomorrow, say hi, go home, and they after arrive in the training center take the luggage and go to Nottingham. So that's why it's, it's what it is. So we are used to. So in the past, when we went to travel or the finals, where it was the similar, the same like that. And yeah, let's go. That's why I said good education, good food and rest and and hopefully the good selection to, you know, to win the game. Okay. Are you looking forward to a holiday at the end of all this? <laughs> a holiday? <laughs> I have time to think about it now. Of course, all the teams in that, especially ours, so is tired. It's normal at the end of the season. So, but in the same time, it's so exciting, you know, fighting again for the Premier League. Uh, pff, it's a dream come true. I could not expect, honestly. I, I know always you dream to be there, but what happened in the past? I, I had this season. Maybe I will not be able to do it. I know, I know how much you love it, but it might have been hard to enjoy that Chelsea match because of the tiredness of the players. But... Likes of Bernardo Silva, winners win, don't they? Eventually, they find something. That's what you'll need Sunday, won't you? With this massive atmosphere at Forest. Yeah, of course. Of course, we have to. Of course, we have to. And they will put pressure. Is what they have to do. Uh, but uh, yeah, Chelsea was the the real proof. We play in uh, difficult conditions. We were not ready to compete against them, but we did it. And we play good. Mm -mm, no, we were stable. Mm -mm, no. But we found a way. We found a way to win and get reached the final. So sometimes, when you play in, I don't know, 60, 65 games a season, the people say, "Ah, you are not playing like the previous games." 
what you expect. It's impossible to play the highest level all the time. Impossible. Impossible. But the important is when you are not in your highest level, be consistent and and take the points and win games. And normally, normally, it's happened to us at the end of the seasons, and that is so important. That's so much on It's 2,024 goals in all competitions this season. How do you think he's taking this game? If you do, do you think he's taking this game to, to another level? Play. Is, he, is he your player? Of the year? I said many times, Phil have a, a sixth gear, but he cannot play all the time with sixth gear. I had to play with the second and the third. And I think with the time he will learn that today was much better than the two or three days before. Everything is going too quick. No. Football has to say sometimes lower to make quicker uh, after to surprise the opponent. And today was really good in the movement up in the right moment he attacked when he needs to have to attack. But it's a question of time. He will understand the game through years and years and experiences and it's going to take him because he loves to play and of course the sense of role is there and his work ethic is unbelievable how he runs and press and do it and yeah. In that terms, we are really pleased and happy for him and congratulate him. And hopefully he can, in the last month we have ahead of us, he, he doesn't stop. He can continue. In sixth gear, you mean playing at that level, like choosing his level, playing at the, at the you know, picks and chooses when he, when he dominates games? Oh, you know, can you feel? Yeah. About sorry. Well, what do you mean by sixth gear? You mean you mean when he hits his top level in games, when he, when he chooses his when when to when to dominate. No, no. I, I listen. I love to. I would love to go in sixth gear, every single action. But after you are less precise, and you are sixth gear, you lose the ball all the time. That is not effective. And sometimes you have to reduce the moment. You have the moments, he has to know when he has to be aggressive. and has to be more calm. But this question of time, he improved a lot. Improved a lot in that terms for the beginning of the season and the previous seasons. So maybe with the third kid is coming in his family, maybe it will help him. Uh, and will he be your player there? He's one of them. But I had the feeling that he won one is the Premier League, I would say. But I don't know. It's not in my business and but it's one of them, that's for sure. Thank you guys. Thank, Thank you. you. <coughs> no way. <coughs>